so watery. What's happening y'all, it's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna be building my very first e-bike. I'm gonna show you step by step uh, what I did and actually how much easier than I thought it was to do this entirely. So let's get it. So I'm gonna try to leave the link in the description for which one that I purchased. But once I got my package, it came in this huge box. Uh, keep in mind that typically each company ships their battery separate, but in this box, they give you the motor and I ordered a rear wheel motor. Um, that's like a tongue twister kind of. Anyways, and then it gives you the controller, the charger. Um, it gives you a twist throttle. It does give you pedal assist too, but I didn't apply the pedal assist to my bike because I'm just not gonna be using it for this one. Maybe I'll apply that to a future bike that I build. But pretty much everything you need uh, is in this box now. But also remember it is a kit too, right? So the kit, should come with everything that you need and if they don't then you know you can either get your money back or you can talk to the supplier figure it out that way okay so for the first thing that you're going to need to do is take off the the rear wheel and this was my first time ever even doing any work on a bike ever um, so if i can figure it out trust me you can figure it out after you've taken off your back wheel then what you do is you take the tire off if you've never done this before there's like thousands of videos of people that teach you how to do this on youtube it's super simple it's a lot easier than you think that's for sure like walking into this i thought this was going to be like the hardest thing but this ended up being the easiest thing so you take the wheel off just make sure that the tube is still in there uh, has enough air as well apply it to the other rear wheel with the motor on it So the next thing I had to do, because the rear hub motor was starting not to fit within my frame, uh, I took a metal filer. I mean, you could buy these things at like Lowe's or Home Depot, whatever, probably a couple bucks, 15 bucks, uh, to shave down some of the metal because the bolt just wasn't fitting inside of it. So I had to shave it down a little bit, then I got it to fit. This process might take a while, that's why I kind of time-lapsed it. Um, after that, just make sure you have the correct washers on each side. Otherwise, your pedals are just not going to spin correctly. Next up, we got the handlebars. Um, now, you don't have to necessarily do it in this order, but I just ended up doing it in this order. It's super simple. Just basically twist off the rubber um, handles. Sometimes people use like water and stuff to get it off. I, I didn't use anything. It was just easy to get off. Um, then you go ahead and apply uh, what was in the kit whether it's a twist throttle or a thumb throttle depending on which one that you bought And also these pieces are all connected with screws to make them tighter So it's like super simple, but you space it out how you want to space it out um, I mean again, it's a DIY kit You can do it however you want to and my kit also came with a little speedometer I'm pretty sure all kits do it's a pretty simple one not really too fancy or technical I don't really want to get too much into it, but you also apply that to the handlebars as well so next up we got the wiring. Um, I chose this bag. The kit did not come with a bag, or a good bag anyway. So I ended up getting this bag at a sports store and it was like 80 bucks. Uh, it carries like water bottle, all types of stuff. So I put my controller in there. The controller is what connects um, your speedometer, the twist throttle, and the battery. And if you're very worried about whether or not you don't know how to do the wiring, this is also probably the most simple part of the bike surprisingly you would think that it would be super crazy mathematical or something like that it's actually not it's not rocket science all the wires line up with each other all the colors line up with each other um, they make it super simple for you in fact when the kit comes all the wires are connected in the kit so if you have trouble just take a picture of the wires that are already connected um, and then when you unplug them and then plug them back then you know which ones go where so next up, we got the battery and every bike, I believe every bike has these two bolts on the frame that go right there. Um, and these batteries are built from the kit uh, to fit onto the frame. So you just screw it in, um, really simple. Uh, and then you slide in on the battery. The battery also has a key lock so it doesn't go anywhere just in case I guess you fall, something like that. And then right on top, I put my bag right there. It really doesn't look that great to be honest, but just to get the point across and just to complete the kit to make sure this bike works, you know, this is the bag that I'm dealing with right now. Then after that, you go ahead and lift up the bike. You can go ahead and test it.
Okay, so just how I mentioned um, about the torque arm, this right here is a torque arm. You see this silver piece here? Um, it's a really thick torque arm. I'm gonna put the website right here. Um, and this is the version four. And you're gonna need this because it helps to keep the frame um, from getting damaged. Because if there's too much torque on a cheap frame or any frame for that matter, um, you're gonna need this torque arm to kind of direct the force uh, from the frame snapping. Now, it doesn't snap all the time, um, but it more so loosens up uh, the bolt from the motor, uh, whichever motor that you're using. And that, you know, that's what can happen, and it could definitely be a bad thing if you're going really fast and something falls apart, right? So this is to really kind of keep it together. Um, I would suggest go and do some homework on, like, where to go about buying a, a torque arm and or just visit the website that I put below. Okay, so I just got up into the city. I figured I'd come out here to just kind of test it out because there's some like open areas uh, at my old school and I'm just gonna try to ride around in this area uh, and just kind of fuck around and see how fast I can go. So let's get it. Tell you the truth, the real reason why I came down here is because it's colder down here. Today's like super hot where I'm from, kind of more south, south bay. And uh, when you come to the city, it's at least 20 degrees cooler. It's 60 out here right now, so it's perfect for me to ride around. Get my sweat in. Finally go. This is all uphill. Speed limit says 15. Eyes right now are fucking watering. Oh shit. That was something else. That was something else. I used to park in here every day in this stupid ass parking lot. I used to take those stairs right over there every day. You know what I'm saying? Now we're at the top. I'll see you at the bottom. You know what I'm talking about? Random elevator. It's like slight decline, just very slight.
gotta turn around these turns, boy. That was fun as hell. That was so fun. Holy shit. All right, we're gonna try this one right here. Let's see how fast we can get it. You know, honestly, it's better that it's COVID going on right now. Otherwise, there'd be people out here, you know, whatever. So, it's a little safer on a bike. Ugh. All right, so let's go ahead and quickly talk about pricing for the bike. In total, I probably spent, I think for the kit itself was like 850, 870. And I think that was on sale. I think originally it was like 970, 980 close to a thousand but right now they're running a sale hopefully they're still running it if you click the link the customer service was actually really good too uh, they end up responding and I ended up talking to them on whatsapp so really easy communication back and forth sometimes they don't answer because they're busy but I mean it is what it is though you know what I mean but honestly though the price is very reasonable for what it is uh, considering how much e-bikes cost these days if you try to go above the speed limit of 35 to 40 miles an hour I mean for God's sakes you could pay 10 10,000, I kid you not, 10,000, 15,000, $20,000 on an e-bike that only goes 40 miles an hour for performance purposes. But that's like, like that's the biggest waste of money that you can ever spend. Um, so this was like probably the most money well spent I've spent all year. This is, uh, <laughs> or not all year, but just all in the past five years. I've been wanting to do this for so long and finally doing it. Um, and then also, you know, all the R&D and all the little accessories to go along with it, you know, out the door, you're probably looking at 1400 bucks. Um, plus my bike, the bike and the frame and all that stuff. That was about 130. Um, I bought a Walmart bike though. So I don't necessarily recommend for you to buy a Walmart bike. You should probably buy uh, something a little bit more expensive. Expensive doesn't always mean quality, but in, in the bike's case, it kind of seems that way and probably go more with a brand name so you don't run into any issues or anything like that i haven't ran into any issues myself with the bike just yet but i'm sure i will later on down the line because of it being a walmart bike because i've heard so many stories but i can always report back on those updates sometime uh, in the future all right and the last thing i'm going to talk about is battery uh, the battery seems to last extremely long so all this footage that i'm showing you right here if anyone is familiar with this school there's juniper yosero which is on the very bottom and then you got 19th and holloway at the very top of the hill it's not a crazy hill but it's still a hill and when we're talking about e-bikes obviously they run on battery so the more uphill you go the more the juice runs out um, i ended up riding around this day for at least three to four hours four four and a half hours maybe 
and I went up and down that hill like four or five times because I wanted to see kind of how fast I can go down the hill on the straightaways, open areas, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to test it. And then at, at the end of my ride, I'm like, all right, let's see where the battery is at. Because I was trying to make the battery lose juice. <laughs> and then I checked the battery, it ended up being full. And I'm like, yo, like, okay, so like this thing lasts for a long time. And this is a full, at a full charge now. This is at a full charge. Um, so, you know, give or take four and a half hours. I mean, you know, you don't want to be riding on your bike, you know, more than seven hours. I'm pretty sure it'll probably last me seven hours. It probably wouldn't be as gutsy as it is in the very beginning on a full charge. But again, like I just mentioned, money well spent for sure. Gonna be riding this all the time, probably doing some upgrades in the future and maybe working on a different bike in the future. This might, this, this right here is definitely my new hobby. Um, it's super fun. Oh, also, yeah, if you happen to get into this, uh, I do want to say, uh, just make sure you stay safe. You know what I mean? Um, all these, all this clips here I showed you, all this footage here I showed you, I'm doing it all in open areas. All, obviously we got the, the whole pandemic thing going on. There's not a lot of cars on the road. I chose this place because they got huge open areas, empty parking lots that I can just kind of roam through and, and kind of test out the bike. Obviously I'm not going to be riding the bike like this every day, uh, but I just wanted to test out its power. And obviously you can see this thing has a lot of power and it can last a really long time. So, okay, anyways, I know this is not an e-bike channel. I know this channel is primarily streetwear and all those other things, but it's good to give you guys a little bit of what I've been into other than just clothing. You know, clothing is dope too, but it's not it's not a sport that you can play, right? <laughs> right? So I thought this was kind of tight to incorporate into the video itself. Um, maybe I'll do more e-bike videos in the future if people really want to kind of see that stuff because I will be building more and hopefully we can do like how-to videos and stuff like that. Anyways, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys and girls keep it locked. It's your boy Keezy and I'm out. Peace. You gotta grab a bike and run with it before you jump on it. <laughs> Just in case somebody coming, you gotta run with it and jump on that round. You wanna do, and it's just gonna take a minute, but it's gonna work out. Like, like if you try to cut corners and you put costumes on and do shit, yeah, you just, you gonna get straight, but at what cost, you know what I'm saying? And how you feel. When you do this shit for you, 100% for you, you can grind and stay up for five or six days and not really be tired because it's for you, you.